And then a Man United released some photos this week of what the potential new stadium could look like. Um, an Oxford economics report suggested the new stadium project could generate an additional £7.3 billion each year to the UK economy. Do you think that's likely? Those figures, like, they seem pretty high. Yeah, I think those, I think figures like that are, are generally um, unreliable, shall we say. You know, the, these are these are modelled numbers on a Excel spreadsheet desktop, you know, with various assumptions and it's kind of, it's largely meaningless. I mean, you, it seems very hard to believe that uh, a stadium, uh, enhancing stadium that already exists in a city that's already got and had very substantial third party investment and growth and development over the last 20 years is going to generate an incremental amount of money of that scale uh, for a stadium that we don't even know anything about in terms of when it's going to be built, what it's going to look like, who's going to, you know, what, what additional use is it going to have above and beyond uh, the facilities that Manchester has. There is also uh, the question of how many of, how many, um, music venues or live performance venues a city uh, of the size of manchester can uh, uh, can fill and use and uh, there's clearly a limit at some point so it may well develop uh, you know it may, may well incrementally add value to the city um probably will but but to try and uh, model a precise number seems to me to be a bit of a mugs game um especially given that we don't know really whether it whether and how it's going to be built, how long it's going to take. Um, and also, you would think that if they are going to rebuild the entire stadium, there will be a period where there will be um, a loss of economic benefit in the build, in the build period. Um, because I assume United won't be able to play in the stadium whilst they're knocking it down and rebuilding it, um, which is you know obviously a very big problem. They may have to play, for example, imagine if... A Manchester club has to play at Wembley for a year. That would be clearly not advantageous to the Manchester economy uh, to have that scenario. And that, that seems to me to be a possible. Mm. I can't imagine there'd be too many clubs there willing to let them play at their ground with their capacity. Yeah. I think it'd be very difficult to, for example, for City to permit United to play there. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen in Liverpool. Um it's not going to happen in Leeds. No, definitely not. So, so, you know, what are the options really? I mean, it, you know, it seems to me that either they can somehow develop the stadium around whilst playing in that stadium, which, you know, nobody has really done. Even Spurs had to come out of White Hart Lane for a year, even though they, they did have a way of building on the same site. Uh, they still had to come out of that stadium for a year. So I don't know. I haven't seen, maybe that maybe they've, they've articulated what the plan is on that. I don't know. I haven't seen it, uh, but, but I don't think it's beyond the realms that United would end up playing at Wembley uh, mm -hmm. for a period. Now, obviously Chelsea probably have also got Wembley uh, earmarked as well, because they're also thinking of doing uh, a development around the same time as United. Um, you know, which is another complexity. Um, but, but you know, if that happened, then it's not a stretch to say that the Manchester economy for that season will take a hit. Yeah, definitely. Um, Man United haven't had a great start to the season and then that was backed up by their 1-1 draw against FC20 in the Europa League the other night. How important is it that they do make it through to the latter rounds of this competition, given that they are already losing money from not being in the Champions League? Yeah, well, so, look, it's, it's really, from a financial perspective, United are in a, in some ways, a strong position in that the, um, those home games that they have, clearly where you have a stadium of the size of United and United's, um, United's uh, fan base are lucrative events, almost whatever the game. And so more and more games, you're generating money from the from the gate receipts. 
as opposed to the prize money. The prize money, though, is a big issue for United. Um, if you were to look at um, the new cycle in the um, in the UEFA uh, Europa League, just to put it into perspective, United's prize money on Wednesday night was one hundred and fifty thousand euros. That's what you get for a draw in the Europa League now. Uh, you know, and that is we all know that is basically nothing. Um, you get seven times or five times that in the in the Champions League for a draw. Um, you to to get even to get thirty million euros in the Europa, you need to win it. So, you know, and 30 million, just to put that into some sort of perspective, 30 million is pretty much the minimum you would get in the Champions League. Um, you know, you get best part of two thirds of that just by qualifying for the Champions League. So um, United, to, to make proper money from the Europa, that they, they will need to get into the very latter stages of it. Uh, so, you know, drawing a home game is, is problematic, but I'm sure that they will qualify. It's just that the Europa is a, it's just a, a much less lucrative um, competition compared to the Champions League. There's, there's no, there's no two ways about it. It's just not a particularly attractive, from a financial perspective, it's just not particularly attractive. I mean, again, on, on in those group stages, if you win a Champions League uh, game, you get 2 million euros. If you win a Europa League game, even if you win, you get 450,000. You know, I mean, it's just the money is just not that significant in the Europa. But United are fortunate, as I say, in those home games, they will sell the stadium out. And if you sell out a stadium with 70,000, 75,000 people, clearly you're going to make a lot of money on that on that match day.